Hello and welcome to another episode of Citadel Guard Adventures. This is Berriathan of the Citadel Guard of Gondor. We are in the South Graven Wood and we need to make our way towards uh, the Rohirrim Scout Camp. However, before we continue, you might remember at the end of last episode we were attacked by Drugir, which was a signature Dusk Hound, and he dropped an evil object that we can loot to get a quest. The icon upon this object looks like some kind of animal with horns, but it has an evil looking air about it. Perhaps Aeradan will be able to make some sense of it. Alright, so now we only need to take the path to the north. The Rohirrim scout camp is somewhere around here, but these camps insist on attacking us. But yeah. Here you can see it. We have made our way to the Rohirrim Scout Camp. So we'll pick the Stable Master. Welcome, friend. Perfect. Uh. Exploring the graven with okay. Gonna pick the milestone in here. Exploring the graven wood. We need to find seven different locations. We already have one. And here we have Saira then. How can I be of service? Bergathan! It is good that you have come, though I must say it, I did not doubt much that our paths would cross once more. There is great evil afoot, and we could use your aid. Why do you insist on giving me uh, tank armor that I don't need right now? What do you need? What is this that you have for me? Aye, I have seen this symbol before. I am not sure what it is supposed to represent, but it reminds me of some of the demons that Gwilion summoned against us in the Windfells. Agility, uh, vitality. Okay, I'm gonna try this shield, maybe. Maybe it will be good. What have you learned of the Dunlandin clans? Your journey through Dunland for Leo Brennan is almost at its end, Bergathan. What have you learned of the Dunlandin clans? Aedadan listens to your report. I see. Saruman's influence is greater than we thought. It is good that you sought to help the people resist him, even if it bears little fruit. This man here is Theodred, the son of the King of Rohan. He has crossed into Dunland with a small party on a similar mission to see what is happening in the heart of Dunland. Beriathan, when I and my companions first came here, we noticed almost at once a queer stillness about the forest. There is undoubtedly a foul presence at work here, and I would wager that William has something to do with it. But thus far, we have been unable to find the source. Perhaps you will aid us in this task. There are two trees, one to the northwest and one to the southwest, which were clearly once used in some Dunlinding ritual. One is called the Mastering Tree, for it is where the forces of Dunland gathered to go to war against Gondor and Rohan long ago. The other is called the Tree of Tribute, for a brave Dunlending warrior stood alone there against the strong force of their enemies and sacrificed himself to allow his clan to escape. Search these places for any clues, then follow the signs where they may lead. When you have discovered the source of the evil here, return to me. I have provided you tools to dig with, should, you, should the need arise. Okay, but first, let us talk to Theodred. Son of Theoden. You run errands for folk long sworn to be the enemies of my people. We are met in dangerous times, Berathan. You run errands for folk long sworn to be the enemies of my people. Eldred sighs heavily. It has been a long time since the Dunlendings crossed into my father's kingdom with the sign of conquest. Without the origin I fear Saruman is given to them, they would not have the courage to do so again. 
The wizard has done my people a great wrong with this, and he must pay for it. My men and I forced the ison and came by animal pots into this wood. That is where we encountered Saeradan and learned of his mission. We could use your help if you can spare it. We are all ill at ease in this forest, and your ranger friend here is not the reassuring sort. We are ill. We are all ill at ease in this forest, Perathan, and your ranger friend here is not the reassuring sort. My men have reported feeling a watchful presence as they walk beneath the trees. I do not like it. I have heard that Saruman can move about, and seen by mortal eyes. Could it be that his presence? Could it be his presence? My men have felt. If you oppose the wizard, go to these places and see if you feel a presence at them, as my men do. One of these places is a gnarled tree to the northwest, and the other is a camp of Dunlendings far to the north, who will cut loose between the arms of the mountains. Well, fortunately, we do need to get to the mastering tree. Mm, however, let me see. Okay, I'm gonna try this warding shield that I got. Recall defense, agility, vitality. I would lose some. And vitality. What about agility and physical mastery? Yeah. Not a good plan. Uh, what else can we do here? We can sell this ear. And this first. This ring that we no longer need. I think this bread and jam we can also sell. And these caps of red tea. And that shield. Well, that should be good for the moment. That should give us a, a moment of respite before we need to clear our inventory again. At this point I'm really considering if it's worth it keeping all the cosmetic items from Dunland. I know they look really good, but god, you need a lot of space to be able to keep all of them. And I don't know how much longer can I go like this. Be cool with this. Uh, okay, so we need to look for the mastering tree, okay, which is this one here. Discover the mastering tree. You have found nothing of import here. The woods remain still and quiet. You feel no presence here. But this is a big tree for sure, and these markings that it has. I wonder what they mean. Because there's some men in there and a figure atop them that looks like William. Let's look for the Tree of Tribute, then. Ah, this one in here. And this tree has similar markings to the ones we already saw. Discover the Tree of Tribute. The earth around the tree root has been disturbed. So... Awesome, we got um, to level 71, one class trade points. We have hop nanigans right now, but we're gonna avoid that. Uh, so we have one point that we are not gonna spend yet, but what we can do instead is slot this sword and level it up just a little bit. Now, do I need to go back to Saeradan? Will he give me any other uh, quest? 
to continue here? Or what am I supposed to do exactly? Let me use this rune that I had for here. I don't see it right now, but I knew... I know I had it. I don't know. Yeah, he has a quest for us. Okay. But first... Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> we just needed to use the quest, uh, the pickaxe near the tree of tribute, I guess. Jesus, where is this rune? Here. Um... Up here. Beriathan, I am disappointed. If we are to unravel the mystery of this wood, we must find more tokens. Yet do you manage to lose the pickaxe I gave you? Very well, let me see if one of these were here and brought a pick with him into these wilds. What can I do for you? We are fortunate. These good people did indeed have a pickaxe among their goods. Go now and complete your task. You should use the pick Cyradan gave you to dig at the disturbed roots of the tree. <laughs> All right, I, I I feel a little embarrassed. I well, thankfully we were not far from Cyradan, but still, that was a little bit unnecessary. Disturbed Aerith. Okay, it's on the other side. You have discovered another evil token, but are attacked by Kuthra. Seeking a solution. What are what am I supposed to do now? Okay. okay he dropped this item. Uh, token of the gold. This token bears the same animal icon as the evil object you discovered on your journey to the Rohirrim scout camp, only it is much more clearly depicting the Drugavar summoned by Gwilion. Upon his banishment, the Kuthral Nulkuth dropped a token similar to those you dug up from beneath the Tree of Tribute. You should bring all three tokens to Saeradan at once. Saeradan it is. Welcome, my friend. Forty of dead. So, I think I'm actually gonna go to the level seventy-one sword instead of this one here, which has a higher base DPS. I just need to level it up a little bit more. What do you need? Indeed, these medallions confirm what I suspected all along. I thought that William might have eyeless in Dunland, and it seems I was right. One of these tokens bears the mark of the goat, the Drugavar, summoned by the old woman of the mountain. This one bears the mark of the stack, and the third is the ox, clans we encounter here in Dunland. Physical mastery, vitality, resistance rating. Okay, I can maybe pick one of those. Agility, vitality, physical mitigation, tactical mastery. Tactical mastery with agility? That looks weird. No, I think I'm gonna go with the ring. While you were away, Andrek sent a message to me. He came upon a grove where creatures of darkness haunt the Gravenwood. 
With your Tale of the Kuthral at the Tree of Tribute and your discovery of these tokens, it is clear that William is near at hand. Go on meet with Andrek and see what assistance he requires of you. You may find Andrek near a place called the Slate of Shadows, some distance to the south. Okay. But let me see what do we have here. Physical mastery. Uh, I think maybe we can use this to replace the second ring. Yeah, looks good. So I gotta pick the road to the south and uh, look for Andrek. Okay, we're almost there. May the Valar grant us swift passage through these lands. It is good to see you, Beryasan. If you peer around the rock to the south, you will see that trouble is brewing in this place. I have need of your aid. Will you aid the Grey Company? I thank you again for coming, Berathan. When I found the Slate of Shadows, I did not expect it to be so utterly inhabited by evils from the ancient world. I avoided detection for a short time, but I did not wish to risk betraying our presence here to the enemy. It may be, though, that one such as yourself, with no true tie to the Dunadine, might be able to confront the foe without breaking the secrecy of the Grey Company. Will you lend me your aid? Uh... Well, there is a tie between us. Maybe it's not that strong, but there is. I'm wearing the Great Company's garments, so... I don't think it will make any difference, but if it makes you feel better, I will do it. Our success lies in secrecy. Will you aid us? Among the creatures inhabiting the Slate of Shadows are the Drugavar. The presence of these felt spirits is a clear sign that the old woman of the mountain is near at hand. For it was she who summoned them at first to Enedwite. As you investigate the Slate of Shadows, banish as many of the Drugavar as you are able. Such fell creatures cannot be allowed to enter our world, for their combined power may prove the undoing of the Free Peoples. Will you aid the Grey Company? Among the fell spirits I noticed amid the trees of the Slate of Shadows, I saw many of the wisps at the Dunlending Skull Eldan. These spirits are perhaps the least of the Dark Lord's minions, but in large numbers they may prove dangerous still. As you investigate the Slate of Shadows, take some time to banish the Eludan. They must lead no one else to their doom. The Grey Company will need your aid. Before I retreated to this rock, I was able to glimpse what appeared to be some small altars and a cauldron set between the large trees at the heart of the Slate. While you hunt the creatures within the Slate, try to get a glimpse at the structures. Perhaps we can learn what purpose they serve. The Grey Company has need of your services. Kuthral are among the deadliest of the fell spirits haunting the Slate of Shadows. As you investigate the Slate, try to banish as many of the spirits as you can, for I fear they will become an army against whom there can be no reckoning if they are not curved. So it seems this laid off shadows. So this one here. Ah! 
that I said, I didn't think we, we, we would find Drugavar after any life. But I was wrong. Oh, look at all the cool trolls that are in here. Top of this altar bears the mark of the ox, really? Where? I don't see it. But if you say so. What are you doing? Jesus. The top of this altar bears the mark of the stack. But I don't know where that's supposed to be. appears to be empty, but it is extremely chill to the touch and smells of death. No, it, it looks menacing. Evil. Completed mystery of the tree. The top of this altar bears the mark of the Drugavar. And trade for him scout camp slate of shadows. We need to find Uval Cat Loose, Ruval Cat Loose, and Akru. And we're halfway through basically.
Okay, completed that quest as well. Throw. Very well. And the last Durgavar. That's completed as well. Now we need to go back to Andrek. Legendary item level up. Task items. Yeah. May the Valar grant us swift passage through these lands. With what you discovered in the Slate of Shadows, I think I know how to ensnare Gwilion. We shall be revealed, but I think the risk is worth the gain. What do we have here? Oh, this looks kind of nice. Maybe for a dwarven outfit? So yeah, let us, let us pick those leggings. For sure. Our success lies in secrecy. Will you aid us? Matters here are more dire than I had first believed, Beriathan. From your description, I believe the cauldron that rests within the Slate of Shadows is the fabled Dutagil. Legend tells that it is a relic once kept by the necromancer of Dol Guldur, lost when he was driven forth by the White Council. It is rumored to have the power to create an army of whites, if I am correct. Willem may be trying to use it on behalf of Saruman. She must be stopped. For this, I have a plan. Speak with me when you are ready. Good. Let us move closer to the Slate of Shadows. I have a plan to ensnare Gwilion and her allies. At last we have tracked Gwilion, whom the Dunlendings call the Old Woman of the Mountain, heir to the Gravenwood. Whatever foul plot she has put in motion must be stopped at the Slade of Shadows. Barathan, you told me that the altars bore the same marks as the tokens you brought from Saeradan. If this is indeed the case, the tokens may perhaps be used to call William and her allies to the Slade. Come with me to the Slade of Shadows. There we will see how the tokens may be of use to us. Oh, okay, there he is. Enter the slate and place the tokens upon the altars, then return here to me. If I am correct, we may soon see the end of the old woman of the mountain. Altar of the Ox. I don't see any changes in here. But okay. Altar of the stack. Ah! Ah! Uh, 
and the altar of the goat. Let us see if my plan will bear fruit. Who summons for the trivial of shadows? What's the meaning of this? Why have we been called? Stop the Eludan from entering the cauldron. Come spirits of the Gravenwood, come to Dutagel and bring life to our army. Crush you. And William is escaping once again. Defeated the Tribunal of Shadows. Please don't tell me that. Ah, uh, Verathon, when William said what she did about the living, it, it reminded me of the rest of the legend. The Dutegel's weakness is the living spirit, the gift of life. It has ended the darkness. Collect the tokens of the Gurak from the altars, then return to me while I still have breath. The old woman of the mountain lingers still, but not unharmed. Now is the time to strike. Now is the time to move. I shall not be returning with you, Veryathan. The cost of defeating death is the life of the living. Return to Zyrodan and tell him of our victory. Fair well. I, I didn't remember Andrek died like like that. What do you need? Alas, Andrek was a good friend and a stout companion. He will be remembered for his sacrifice. William has much to answer for. It is a pity that she escaped. At least her allies from the Ox and Stack clans will be of no further trouble. Nevertheless, we will renew our efforts to find the old woman of the mountain and bring her to justice. Thank you for returning these tokens. I may yet have a use for them. Oh, let me see. Agility, vitality. Yeah, I might pick this necklace. Oh, what do we have here? New deed completed known to Theodred Riders. Cool. So Theodred Riders are right here. We already hit acquaintance with them. Now we need to earn friend standing. Um known.
I don't see it. Now to Theater Riders. There we have five lottery points and a the title. You have reached acquaintance status with Theater Riders. But before we continue, let me double check here. You need not to reveal yourself to Buryat, it matters not. Okay, so she knew we were there. You may observe as we bring about the doom of Rohan. The white hand shall close its mighty fist upon the forewheel. Rohan shall fall. Come, spirit of the Gravenwood, come to the Tutagel and bring life to our army. Yeah. And so Andrek sacrificed himself to destroy the cauldron. That was an honorable but sad death, nonetheless. I am more determined than ever to find William's hiding hole, but she is a willy one and more familiar with this land than the Dunedain. I have sent for Amlan and a few of the Borkland resistance are helping us scour the Gravenwood for further signs of William, but in the meantime I want you to speak with Leofward, the chief of Theodred scouts. Perhaps by aiding the Rohirrim we will aid our own cause as well. Welcome and well met, my friend. I am grateful for the rangers. For the rangers' help sneaking us into the Gravenwood past the Dawn Landings, but I am not certain what aid one such as yourself could offer us. Leof Ward sighs. I must beg your pardon, Warden. We have never come this far into enemy lands. I do indeed have a use for you, if you are willing. Ah, completed! Quests in the Gravenwood! I wasn't expecting this. So, wit, capped, and virtue, well, confidence here. Almost capped. We will cap that when we will, uh, when we complete the, the explorer did. And that way we will only be missing valor. Quests in the Ravenwood. Here. Okay, that was, that was fast. The Rohirrim are grateful for your aid. Beriasan, if you wish to be of aid to me, I have a task of great import, though it may not seem so at the first. I sent several scouts out into the Gravenwood to discover any movement of Dunlending forces, but I have not yet heard from any of them. Would you seek out the scouts and learn if any ill has befallen them? It has been too long and I fear for my companions. Their names are Thorvald, Elfred and Kuthric. Thorvald and Kuthric have gone north and east into the Gravenwood, while Elfred has returned south to watch the road to Wolf's Cleft. I will reward you for your efforts. Okay, we'll need to go to Thurbalt first. Uh, but I do wanna get another picture of Theodred in the sunlight. I think it looks better, clearer. This were the first Rohirrim that we ever met in Lotro. And it was quite eventful meeting Theodred. At that time, I didn't remember Theodred's fate exactly. Uh, so it, it was meaningful, even though knowing that uh, he was going to die at some point. What I didn't expect was for us to be there when he died. And I think that was a, a great quest line. We will get to that later. We will need to finish questing in Dunland first, but you will see what I'm talking about once we get there and, and fight alongside Theodred and his men. This is a uh, Thorvald. Our hope lies in strength, but the servants of the enemy are everywhere. Leofward sent you. That is well, for I have discovered an encampment of Drake Luth, Dragon Clone warriors moving down from Enedwide. News of their movement should be taken to Leofward at once. I will remain and keep an eye on the encampment. 
If you wish to be of further aid, I may have other tasks for you before you leave, though. Evil stirs in the shadows, and the horse lords have need of aid. I have seen some wagons bearing crates coming from the south to Ubelkatlus. I wondered at first why the downlandings would be bringing provisions and supplies northward to a company that is moving southward towards their master, but later I saw something that terrified, that terrified me. The direct loot took from the crates a black powder which they were able to ignite into a terrible fire which scorched tree and earth and shattered stone. I fear the dragon clan will use this black fire against our people should all out war ensue. Will you enter Uval Catalus and destroy this black fire? The Rohirrim would be greatly indebted to you if you should succeed. Shadows lie along our path. We must seek to dispel them at all cost. Though the Dragon Clan has long been known to war with even their own countrymen, I fear this company is not here to start traveling downland. There have been downlanding travelers going to and fro between Prengwith and Talmethedras, and the direct loot half ignored them. Perhaps one of them carries orders from their chieftain, or a general of their forces, if there are such ranks among these wild men. Would you enter their camp, Uvel Catlus, and seek such orders among their captains? It will be dangerous, but such information can only benefit our cause. The minions of Orthanc are growing stronger in these lands. Yonder company of direct loot warriors present a threat, not just to my princess scouting party, but to Rohan as a whole, I believe. Perhaps, if we were to weaken their force, the threat would be lessened enough to make it impotent. Enter Uvel Catlus, if you will, and defeat as many of the Dragon Clan's warriors as you can. When you have done so, return to me. So here we have Uval Catalus. I need to actually take this up to the upper portion of the camp. orders, okay. Rate of black fire. Ah! Aside from the downlandings, you feel no unusual or mysterious presence. That's for the epic. Fire here, clear crate of black fire there. That is all for now inside this camp. But I believe at some point the 
Urvald or someone else will send us back here to defeat Uzgawin. For the time being, let us return to him and, and tell him that we have done what he asked us to do. I hope we will find aid in time. It is good news that you bring. I do not fear so much now for the safety of my people. Agility, vitality, physical mystigation, physical mastery, maybe. Gonna try those boots and see if they are good. Strength, but the servants of the enemy are everywhere. Indeed, this is as I feared. These orders are directing the Dragon Clan to join with a company from the Ox Clan at the Mastering Tree, from where they will march south to Wolf's Cliff. This is troubling, but useful information. Dunlanding's rally to the banner of the White Hand. Well done, Berathan. That should give the Dragon Clan pause. Lovebart will be pleased to hear of your courage. Okay, now we need to look for Kuthrik, which is to the southwest, but let me check these boots that I got. Uh, we will lose some vitality. And some physical mastery, so yeah, it's not worth it. So let us instead go and look for Kuthrik. That's not an, uh, a lake that we have previously visited, so... Where exactly is... the trick? Maybe if we drop from here... And then from here... There he is. find aid in time. Indeed, I am well warden. I have discovered an encampment of warriors of Dukluth, the Ox Clan, marching eastward out of Karaglin. I dare say they are up to no good. Take this news at once to Leofward. If you wish to be of further aid, I may have other tasks for you before you leave. Shadows lie along our path. We seek to dispel them at all cost. I wonder if you have the temerity to provoke the captain of these wild men. Perhaps, perhaps not. Prove it to me. Take this ox coal upon which I have engraved insulting signs and place it before the tent of Duclute's captain. If he has any sense of honor, he will come forth and do battle with you. If you defeat him, perhaps the ox clan will return to their homes peaceably. Shadows lie along our path. We must seek to dispel them at all cost. The Ox Clan, Bucluth, are known as traders and merchants, not warriors. I wonder what power motivates them to go to war. If you would enter their encampment below us, Rubel Catlus, and seek some sign that might indicate who is pressing them into service, it would be of great aid to my prince. What say you, Veriasan? Will you enter Rubel Catlus? Shadows lie on our path. There can be only one reason for the master of the Ox Clan. They plan to wage war upon Rohan, or to at least show their support for their countrymen's war. I would have you show them that such a demonstration of solidarity is futile. Enter Rubel Catlus below us and confront the Ukluth. Teach them, with sword if need be, that to attack the Riddermark would be insanity at best. What say you, Beriathan? Uh, I say yes, I just need to find a way down here. 
discovered rural catalyst. Okay, but okay, I can come uh, down from here instead. Uh, so what are we missing to explore the graven wood? Ag grew. That's an orc camp, and I would believe it's this one over here. But for the time being, we'll just enter Rural Catalus. Do I need to do in here? Scout Rubble Catalyst, basically. No biggie. We have found the banner of the White Hand. Yeah, several of them. In fact. Defeated the captains. I don't see exactly how this call is desecrated, but okay. We got what we came here to do. We just need to return to Kubrick and let him know of that. Trick again. It's a rated knife, okay. And here we have Kuthrik. Ha! Huh. I wish I could have seen the wild man's face. The enemy At everywhere. least it shows that some downlandings do have a sense of honor, which can be insulted. Agility, vitality, physical mitigation, oh. Okay, once again. Okay, there we have it. Oh, that's a nice looking helmet. Or hat, I should say. Uh, yeah, let us take that. Time is short, and so is hope. 
You say this white hand is a symbol used by Saruman the White. Then you speak truly that Saruman is a traitor. Our hope lies in strength, but the servants of the enemy are everywhere. That should teach the white man a lesson they won't soon forget. Okay, now we need to talk to Alfred. Yeah, he's right there. And he should have the quests for the last location that we're missing in the Caribbean with Ak Gru. That, however, will be a part of next episode. Join me next time. We will go to Alfred, assist him with his task, and then go back to Theodred and continue the epic. For the time being, this has been today's episode of Citadel Guard Adventures. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you on the next one. Until then, my friends, take care, stay safe, good luck to you all, and I will see you later.